Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a rolling text reveal in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's gonna look a little something like this right here. Uh, so you see that we're doing the same sort of text reveal that I've taught in previous lessons where you sort of have the text slide up into view, except what we're doing now is we're sort of having it roll across. It makes it look a little bit more fun, a little bit more lighthearted, and it works for a whole lot of different things. You'll see like uh, things like HDTV um, sort of uses this a lot because like I said, it makes it a little bit more lighthearted and fun. So let's get started on the effect. It's pretty simple to do. So what we need to do is just start with a sequence with our footage here. This is just something again that I got off of videos.pexels.com. Um, looks sort of like it was in Italy. I mean, it could be France or any of those other countries uh, in the European region. However, I just went with it was going to be Italy. So we're just going to create text that works with that. So what we need to do is we need to first just create the text. We want to start with one word because we're going to do this one word at a time to get it to work how we want it to work. And then we just need to type in our first word. So in this situation, it was Roma, um, right like so. And then we just need to sort of maybe even type out the entire thing so we can see what font we should use, how big it should be. So Italy 2018. And then we can sort of center everything and get it looking the way we want. So we want it sort of like that right there. So now what we're going to do is just delete everything off the back here and just work with one word at a time. So the first word right here is Roma. Uh, another way to do this is we can actually keep this text and just duplicate this upwards like so and sort of take this bottom one if we click on the bottom one, and actually reduce the opacity of the bottom one a little bit, and then take this top one and delete these letters off, it'll give us a guide so that we can put our other words where we originally wanted them. So we'll go with that way just to sort of keep everything so that it looks good. So now we have the just the first word right here, and now we need to create the animation up to this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our effects. We're going to search for an effect called crop and drag that onto the Roma right here. We're then going to go down to the crop at the bottom of the effect controls. I'm going to go from bottom here. We're going to say we want it to go maybe about, maybe just about 9%. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a crop right about here. And it just gives a little point for our text to come in. So now if we go up into the effect controls, we don't want to go to this position. This is the entire thing. We want to go down into our text and then the position of the text. And what we're going to do is we want to affect the Y and you can see that there it is right there. And so maybe we want to lower this even a little bit farther, or maybe we want to raise this up a little bit, um, but let's just lower this down to maybe about 4%. And yeah, that looks good right there. And so now we're going to take this, drag it beneath there, and then start an animation. So we're going to click the animate button. We're going to move forward however long you want. I usually go about 15 to 20 frames. So if you hold shift, it'll go five at a time. So five, 10, 15, and 20, right like so. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and animate it up so that it fits back to where this was. So we want to bring it up and just have it slide right into place like so. Now what we have is a very linear, doesn't look that fun. So we're going to right, or we can zoom in by dragging on this, right click on this keyframe, temporal impolation, and let's go easy out, temporal impolation, easy in. And then if we drop this down, we can see this sort of parabola that's created. I like to take the right side and drag it up to sort of make it go fast and then just slowly go into place like so. And now we have that, that animation that makes it look really, really uh, professional. And now what we need to do is just duplicate this and offset them a little bit and move them over. So to duplicate this, we're going to hold the Alt key on the Roman text, drag it up. That's going to create an exact copy of it. And now we're gonna move it forward maybe five frames. So hold the Shift key click on that and go forward five frames. And we're just going to drag this over. And so now what we have is you'll see that we have the first one and then the second one appear right beneath it. So we're going to take that second one and we're just going to move the entire uh, sort of clip right there over. And we can do that from the main motion controls up here. So we're going to take it and we're just going to drag it over. And then we need to type in our text here. So it should be Italy this time. And then we're going to go to the end of the animation right about there. And all we now got to do now is just line it up. And there it looks pretty good. And so now we have two, two of the words working right there. And then we just need to do that one more time. So take the Italy, duplicate it up, move it over to the final part right about here, or move it forward five frames first. So go forward five frames, move it over those five frames, then go to the final place where it's resting, and then just move it over so that it fits type in 2018 and then just make sure that it aligns 
And now that we have everything aligned, we can delete this bottom guide layer. And there it is, we have our effect. Pretty simple to do once you get the sort of workflow going, once you have the first word and you've created that sort of guide layer on the bottom, you're able to create this effect pretty fast with uh, really anything. A lot of times I'll see maybe like uh, two words on the left and then like an Instagram symbol and then two words on the right. So maybe like remember to and then the Instagram symbol, follow me at and then your Twitter handle or your Instagram handle. It's a great way to sort of, like I said, make it lighthearted, make it fun. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.